Hello, hello. So this is an impromptu um, video that I'm uploading on my YouTube. However, this is a video I told my Facebook group, um, Cricket Craft and dot, 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 the beginning and beyond. If you haven't already joined, you need to. But um, we're doing a sale starting on Sunday, November the 1st. So we're going to be doing sort of a community, an uh, online com family, I ain't gonna say community, an uh, online family holiday crafting sale on Facebook. So um, I was gonna show them how to make jock forms so that they can capture their customer information through the Facebook group and not have to say, well, email me, I mean, uh, inbox me or whatever. So I'm going to actually show you how to do a quick job form. And what you'll do is when you're doing your advertising or whatever, you'll be able to send a link to your customer or build. Um, you can use this link also for these forms. You can use these links on your website. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to go over the basis, do a simple um, form because, of course, I got to get this put in my group so they can get their stuff ready for set, um, Sunday for the sale. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump on to jot form so I can show you how simple it is. I just put food in my oven and warm it up. So this is going to be very quick. So let me share my screen. Okay, so here we are. The um, website, I mean, the URL is jotform.com. And this is what you will see when you type this in. You'll notice over here that I got a couple of accounts I use with them. It is a free account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it starting from Scratchola and to... Hold on, what I'm going to do. Give me one second. So I'm going to turn off my video because my glasses are distracting me. It's pulling my eyes over there. Okay, so let me stop my video. Okay, so what we have here is what you will see when you first come to jobform.com. So I'm going to sign up like I'm doing a new one. So I'm going to sign in with my Facebook. Well, I guess I do have one with Facebook, but anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I thought I didn't have one. Okay, so anyway, when you first come on here, <coughs> excuse me, you'll see where you can create a form. What I want you to notice up here at the top, they do have templates, so you can go by a template that they already have loaded, and I'll show you what that looks like. So they have over 10,000 free online form templates. All you got to do is put in what you're looking for on the search um, engine. And they also have some very popular ones that um, a lot of people use. So you can actually use a template. And if you look, they have some very good things on here. Um, I think it was customer information, custom simple order form. So let's preview that and see what that is. So that's basically capturing the name, email, and delivery address. And if you were to use this form, you can build upon this form. So that means you can add extra blocks. So you could start with a form that's already made, or you can start from scratch. You can go in here and you can put, um, let's see if they have custom t-shirt form. I don't know if they have it, but we are looking to see. I usually make my own forms. Oops, no results. So um, they have several forms in here. They have forms that capture payments, 
So this is one I have used before, one of the purchase order forms. I'm gonna um, let you preview it. Oh shoot, I hit use the template. Well, I don't wanna use it, but what you'll do is you'll go in here and you can change the name of your products. You'll go in here and you'll type, um, say for instance, um, product one is custom t-shirt or what have you. You'll do everything add all your, um, if they can add images, if they can make the product mandatory, all these different things you can do and you save the product, then you go on and go um, to the other stuff. But what I wanna do is show you how to get to a quick form, to make a quick form without burning up my food. So you'll hit click form you can import also. So we're gonna start from scratch and we're gonna do a classic form. So when you come to your classic form, you'll see a blank template. So you're gonna add form elements. So let me show you that again. Right over here on the left-hand side, add form elements. So you can add your elements and your drop and drag and um, drag and drop. The name of this form could be custom order form. And if you wanted to, with the different things that you're selling, remember for this um, particular video, I'm doing it for my YouTube, I mean, not my YouTube, my Facebook group. So. If you wanted to, you can make a different form for all of your products that you're going to be selling Sunday. So custom order form. Then if you wanted to do a subheading, this could be um, tumblers. And you want full name. Maybe you'll want to email. I'm gonna pull that submit down to the bottom. It was in my way. Um, I don't know if you want to capture the address, but the um, the basic tenet is some of this stuff you can just drop and drag, drag and drop. I'm sorry. Then you can get down to the point where you want to do a short text. And put this submit at the bottom and I went the wrong way. So, so maybe you get to a point where you want to do a short text and I will put that right there. You can put um, do you want uh -oh, maybe I need to know how to sign do you want to add your name or whatever according to, to the back of the shirt? So um, if that was something that I wanted, I will put that on. So you have things you can do. You can um, give them a chance to upload file. So what they will be able to do, and this is something that a lot of you all want, they will be able to upload pictures that they need for their customized items. And that's why I really like this program. So once we do that, let's preview the form, see what it's gonna look like. So custom form, blah, 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 blah. You can go back, you can definitely go back or add some customization. What I really wanted to do was to show you how to get to it. That's going to be the phone view. If they're looking at it on the phone, that's going to be the tablet view. So once you get out of the preview mode, I think that's looking good. They'll be able to submit it to you. You can go in here and you can check your settings, make sure everything is um, right with you. Then we're going to hit publish. Now, the way you do this is you can definitely get a, a link 
or you can open it in a new tab so you can do whatever. You can share the form on social media. You can share it by email. I usually do a, um, I usually just share a link. But this is the short version of how to build you a form in order to capture your customer's information. Now, <clears throat> the reason I think this is very important for you, especially going into the holiday season in 2020, we have a lot of people who have home-based businesses now doing crafting. We also unfortunately have a lot of scammers, okay? So um, a lot of pe people are weary with the inbox me your information. So these forms are able to be encrypted. They are secure. You are able to take payments through, um, through these forms. Even if it's only to capture the basic information, that is very important. And then you will have your submissions all in one spot instead of saying to yourself, dang, what was that na lady name that ordered the such and such? And you can't remember the name to go back and look at the, um, look at the, I don't even know what I was gonna say. Yeah, you won't be able, you will be able to go back and look at your dashboard in job form and you'll be able to have everything in one, one central location. The person can, you will set this up according to your email. The submissions will go to your email. The person will be able to hit reply to your email to add additional levels to that so y'all can go back and forth. So I just think it's a good idea. So I hope this helps you all, um, even beyond CCBAB, for the people who are viewing it on YouTube. Thank you.